is the number one tip to marketing your channel on YouTube. It's called a collab. Two or more YouTubers get together and create a video. We have been doing that with people now for a pretty long time, right? Right. So what we do is we do interviews of people. This is a collaboration. Collaborations are what allow you to expand not only your subscriber base and the views that are coming to your channel, but also information of value to your subscribers. And this is the number one reason why you'd want to do that. Secondly, of course, is to grow your channel much more quickly. Right, honey? Right. Right. Yeah, and it's a variety of different channels, but if they all use the same good formula for their channel, they're still gonna have the same good results. Thank you for that. Why should you collaborate? Build a creator network. This is the number one reason why you should do that, because you create relationships within the ecosystem of YouTube. And this is how you get to know other creators, not just the one that you've contacted, but it expands exponentially because they want to introduce you to other people. Collaborations bring traffic to your YouTube channel. They increase your subscriber base and customer base for your business. They increase the watch time on your YouTube channel, which is huge, you know, if you're trying to become a YouTube partner. Speed up the growth of your channel, sometimes dramatically, incredibly fast, because you never know what's going to happen with a collaboration. You don't need to physically meet to collaborate. And that is something that's extremely important right now during the pandemic, that you don't have to be together. In fact, the wonderful thing about collaborations is that you can be anywhere in the world. One of the first people that I interviewed was Kiki Crochet. She's in the country of Greece. And what she does is a crochet channel. And yet she has hundreds of thousands of subscribers because there are so many people who love her content, want to learn from her tutorials and are interested in how to crochet. I, on my end, videotaped myself with all of the questions I had for her. I uploaded them unlisted to YouTube. I asked her to watch them for the first time and record herself watching them so that I got authentic reactions from her and film herself giving me the reactions and the commentary and, and the answers. And, and it was fantastic and worked really, really well. So shoot your videos separately and then edit them however you want to. I mean, she just sent me her footage and I edited them. How do you find YouTube channels to collaborate with? This is a big question. Well, first is who else in your niche might you want to collaborate with? If you collaborate with someone who's sort of in your category, in your niche, you're just bringing the fresh perspective, which is really interesting for their audience. Now, the other thing you can do is you can look to collaborate with someone who's not in your niche at all, but would love to have have the kind of content that you offer for their viewers. There are very different ways of thinking about who would be a perfect person to collaborate with. If you stay around your topic, you want to look for people that you're not stepping on their toes, you're just adding value for their viewers, for their channel, for their subscribers. If you find creators with a similar audience, so when you're looking at your videos, look at the suggested videos that are suggested by YouTube. Well, these are channels that are posting content similar to yours. Now, some of them might have huge subscriber bases, and if your subscriber base is much, much smaller, they may not be interested in doing a collaboration with you just yet, but anything's worth a try. So how do you contact them? Well, one of the ways is you can go to their About page and look for, scroll down, and look for their email address. It's called For Business Inquiries, and you can click on that and get their email address. The thing about doing that is that often YouTubers don't check their email. That would be kind of a problem because you'll never hear back from them. So it also makes sense to contact them through social media or their website. The way to find out which social media they're on is also on their About page where they post their social media links. They might also post their website there. The other way you can do it is you can do a Google search. Search by 
by their channel name, search by their name if you know what it is on Google. What do you say when you contact these people? You wanna say who you are. That's the very first thing. Who you are, where they can find your channel, and a hot link to your channel because you don't want them to have to work for this. You're the one working for this, right? So don't make it hard for them. Where and how you found their channel and why you like their videos and why you would be a good match for them. These are a bunch of reasons why. You add a fresh perspective for their audience on the same topic. This is just added value. It can be entertaining, it can be educational. What do they want? What do they need? Maybe you can help them add something that they don't really wanna do, but something that you love to do within your same topic or niche. Think of the kind of collaboration it could be. Should it be funny or serious or emotional? Should it be edited or should it be unedited? How long do you want it to be? These are all things that you should consider ahead of time so everyone's on the same page. And then set a deadline for when you want to get it posted because without a deadline, nothing happens. So set a deadline. Don't give up if you're rejected or you, you get a no because that doesn't mean no. It just means not right now. Maybe you could try again in a month. Maybe you could try again in a couple months. You never know, but it could be because you don't have enough subscribers. So at least wait until you have 100 subscribers and a bunch of videos up there before you start asking for a collaboration. Now, another thing you really wanna think about is how are you going to be transferring your videos? Because the video content will be large, videos are large. Will you do Dropbox or WeTransfer or Google Drive or will you post it to your YouTube channel unlisted? These are the things you wanna figure out ahead of time. Don't expect miracles because sometimes it's just not a good fit and you find someone that you think is gonna be fantastic with you on a collab, but it's a bomb. It doesn't matter, you learn something, move on and try it again. And the most important thing really is just to have fun and make a new YouTube friend. What resources can you use? Well, you can go to forums. Have you ever done that? There are forums just about YouTube and there's one called YouTube Talk. This is a great place to find people who are looking to collaborate and it's just yttalk.com. Also, what about a channel finder? There is a site called Channel Crawl. Have you ever heard of this? It is a YouTube channel crawler and you enter all this information, the category, the country, the subscribers, how many views or videos, anything that you think is really important to you, you enter that information, you hit search, and look at the kind of content that comes up. It's so cool. I mean, if you're looking for people to collaborate with, Channel Crawler is a fantastic, quicker way, I think, to find people maybe who have the subscriber base that you're looking for. If you have a couple thousand subscribers and you're looking for a channel that maybe has 10,000 and more, that's the kind of information that you wanna put in there. What else? Meetups, of course, you guys know that because this is how we met. We met on Meetup. Maybe you met through YouTube Bootcamp Meetup, but look on Meetup for YouTubers and YouTube Meetup, Business YouTubers Network. This is also another one of our Meetup groups. Next would be market your business with promotional videos. And that's what I'm gonna be talking to you guys about next. I'm Sherry Barbera, and this was Zazumi, the Business YouTubers channel.